Mix Country 92.9, number one for New Country. Chris Young, Kane Brown there is Famous Friends. I've got some famous friends as well, actually. Pretty famous in the world of personal injury law. That's why we present Ask the Lawyer at this point on Wednesdays at Kicks Country 92.9. I'm Todd Matthews, and I've got my friend Bruce L. Shiner on the phone to answer a question submitted perhaps by you. We're about to find out. Would you please help me welcome Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. Good morning, Bruce. Hey, good morning, Todd. How are you doing this morning? Doing fine. How are you holding up with the storm and everything? Uh, we're all wet. Yeah. We got lots and lots of rain. Yeah. And still more to come down, I'm afraid. I guess so, yeah. It was a big rain event. Yeah, absolutely. And uh got to keep our fingers crossed here that uh, this isn't a sign of how the season is going to go. We're not supposed to get a, a storm in the Gulf of Mexico at this point in the season. So I'm just hoping this is just a one of a kind. I hope you're right, Todd. <laughs> All right, let's put the weather on the back burner for a second, Bruce, because uh, we have a rather serious question today to present to you. And I am i know we're going to the right person. You're always very sensitive when it comes to these kinds of things. Are you ready for it? Yes, sir. I'm ready, Todd. Okay. Today's question reads as follows. My niece was taken into custody through a Baker Act court order and due to a lack of availability at the women's mental health section of her local hospital, she was placed in the male section of the mental wing. While being detained there, she was raped by a male patient who had previously raped other women. The hospital denied coverage based on their assertion it was a consensual act on the part of my niece. And you ask the lawyer what my brother should do? Is this a situation of she said, he said? This is disturbing on so many levels, Bruce. I mean, she obviously had problems going into this situation. This is bound to exacerbate her mental condition. Yeah, what do you advise on something like this? The first thing that the um, individual or you know someone who's uh, taking care of her should do is hire a very competent personal injury lawyer with experience in the sexual assault matters mm -hmm. it, it, it's really very um, painful to me to see how the hospital is treating this it's like throwing a little child in the lion's den and and blaming the child for being in the wrong place right you know here's a person that needs help you know the definition of being baker act is mm -hmm. that you're mentally ill and that um Without treatment and without protection, you're at risk to harm of yourself or others. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the hospital's duty at that time was to protect this person, mm -hmm. not to put her in harm's way. And I believe by putting her in the, you know, men's section that they put her in harm's way. Yes, certainly. They, they obviously did. Does, does it add or in any way uh, make it a more substantial case that he was known to have done this to other women? Well, absolutely. They should have uh, isolated this person and made sure that he wasn't around women where he could do that. Okay, so there, there really is a lot of, of liability here, even if the hospital doesn't want to admit it, but it's definitely, definitely the kind of thing you need a professional on. I, I certainly believe so. And I believe a very compassionate professional would be of major help here because there's going to be there's going to be a lot of difficulty in, uh, in in getting this case, especially if it comes to court and presenting all the facts with somebody who is a already probably mentally ill and b been traumatized by this. I, I agree wholeheartedly, Todd. This is a very sad and serious case, and and rather unfortunately. You've dealt with this kind of thing before, haven't you? We we have on several occasions, and uh, you know, uh, we're ready to help. All right. All right, Bruce, I wish I didn't have to bring you questions like this, but there's some comfort in knowing that, again, I think we're going to the right person with questions like this. Thank you so much for your feedback this week. Okay, thank you, Todd. And I look forward to talking to you next week for another Ask the Lawyer segment. I look forward to it as well, and I hope our weather clears up and is nice and <laughs> sunny. I'm sure it will be. You take care. Say hi to the family for me. Thanks, Todd. Okay, bye-bye.
Ladies and gentlemen, let's go to again for Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. If you've got a question you'd like to submit, simply go to our website and type in the keyword Bruce in the search box to submit your question. If you've got a more immediate situation, I mean, this, what we've shared today is really immediate and pressing. You might want to call the Port Charlotte office of Bruce L. Shiner and Associates. Get some direct help at 941-743-7777. 941-743-7777. And tell them that Todd sent you from Kicks Country 92.9.